All right, so like my fans, from this set called The Lascivious, Lascivious World of A.C. Stevens and Ed Wood Jr. We're gonna watch something called Lady Godiva Rides. Let's watch. Our movie starts in England in a bar. That man there is Tom Jones. Old enough to pluck, but not quite old enough to be mature. To be but matured enough. Our good buddy Tom is having an affair with Lady Godiva. Came upon the wings of Mercury the moment I received your How about a little wine and some late supper? She's married, however. They spend about five long minutes of screen time eating. And she's about to bust out of that top, that's for sure. The two of them then do the deed, although Tom keeps his pants on the whole time, so I'm not sure how they pulled it off. And then as they're finished, her husband comes in and busts them. The gun lands by Godiva, who then takes it and shoots her husband. Oh, the drama. No, but... They arrested her. Quite seriously wounded. We've arrested her ladyship on charges of attempted murder and adultery. Are you prepared to hear your sentence? You are hereby sentenced to be incarcerated in jail 30 days and then hanged by the neck until dead. Bed hanging to take place in the public square at high noon. She's allowed a visitor in jail. Potions. We the tavern. Apparently they don't search the visitors there, and they got a plan to bust her out. Well, first things first, she lures the guard in there, gives him the drink, which has a knockout thing in it, and then she starts to take her clothes off. I can't show you her gigantic breasts, but trust me when I say that they're nice. So she gets out, and then uh, her friend gives her a bath and uh, colors her hair so she won't be recognized. They have a plan to get her out of the country and send her to America. Much better than I thought it would. They got a new identity for her also. What is arranged? Your boat sails at high tide. Here's your bit of passage made out to Edie Tipton. Apparently she's sailing on a toy boat in a bathtub. Well, we got seven topless girls who I can't show you them, but it's nice. Then a couple of the ladies have a shower together. Well, it's a big party boat. There's a lot of dancing and stripping and uh, alcohol and uh, a lot of this too. These two eventually have a lesbian tryst. That's right. Well, I guess I can show you them kissing. Well, someone screams, land ho, and they've reached America. Although that didn't look like the coastline. And this sure as hell doesn't look like the East Coast either. I guess, uh, I guess that was the coastline of Arizona. Where the girls are immediately sent to a brothel. And anything your heart desires. If you got the price. If they can't come up with the right price, ignore it. But what's the right price? Oh, no, you're making a board. You heard Mr. Kirby. It was his idea. Come on, Liz. Let's give Mr. Kirby the surprise of his life. 
You girls did all right on the drinks. But what about the other action? Nobody came up with our price. Yeah, I tell you, it was the best offer we'd had. From now on, a 10 spot is plenty. Guess she gets her first customer. First time. Mine too. Huh? Too many, that is. Well, there ain't been to sale till now. And he has other ideas yeah, for her too. Not one of those. Yeah. But I don't intend to start either. Look, Davey, you're going to buy that heifer. And you're also going to have your fun. Because guess what? And he asked me to marry him just like that. Instead of a fresh peddler, you turned out to be a matchmaker. I guess Liz needs a lesson. Save your energy. They left two hours ago. She won't. Well, two of the girls get into a fight. They end up ripping each other's clothes off, and then they end up mud wrestling outside. Can't go to Goldstone look like that. Thomas showed up. I go get myself some Western duds. General store is right over there. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not sending you back to England. A vulture like you passing up a big reward. I figure you'll be worth much more to me right here. Know what I mean? I'm not stupid. The boys around here will be mighty happy when they can brag about having a lady of English nobility. Tom shows up and rescues her. You kept your promise. <laughs> but Mr. Kirby, the brothel owner, challenges Tom Jones to a duel. Tom's turn, but here comes the distraction. That's our film. And now it's together on the stagecoach. Together for us. All right, let's talk about Lady Godiva rides from this uh, lascivious world of A.C. Stevens and Ed D. Wood Jr., um, AC Stevens directed this one. I think he even wrote it too. He's also known as Stephen Apostoloff, something like that. I think he collaborated with Ed Wood on quite a few things in the late 60s, early 70s. Although Ed Wood doesn't need to be connected to this film whatsoever. But anyway, it's on this disc. So the movie itself, I actually uh, saw this on cable. It showed up on like Cinemax or HBO or something in the very late 80s, perhaps early 90s, um, and I taped it at that time. I think I watched some of it or all of it, I don't know. It's a little long for a film like this, hour and 44 minutes, that is pretty damn long for something like this, but the reason it's long is because they have these long scenes where they just drag them out, like when they're eating for five minutes, or the lovemaking scenes where there's just a bunch of grinding, not really penetration, and the guys keep their pants on, but they kiss and kiss and kiss for like five minutes, so it just goes on forever. The girls on the boat, the girls in the shower, um, now, most of the time the girls are naked, so that's good, right? But anyway, so this woman, uh, Lady Godiva, she has some wealthy husband, but she's cheating on him with this guy named Tom Jones. Now, the husband catches him, uh, and he's about to shoot Tom, but the gun falls out of his hand. Uh, Godiva gets the gun, then shoots her husband, although he doesn't die, but she gets arrested for it, and she gets sentenced to uh, hanging, uh, sentenced to death for uh, adultery and attempted murder. So, but anyway, she escapes from jail with the help of a friend of hers and a potion and some teasing with her big boobs. And uh, she gets out. They color her hair a different color and send her on a boat to America where, uh, unbeknownst to her, she's going to end up in a brothel. Now, apparently, uh, <laughs> they arrive in America, but it's like Arizona. Even though we saw a rocky coastline. Um, but it's in the Old West in Arizona where she's immediately put to work in a brothel with a few other of the ladies there. Um, the owner of the brothel, Kirby, says, hey... Uh, wine and dine these people, you know, get them to buy drinks. If they want to buy your bodies, uh, you know, they're, they're prostitutes, um, hold out for the right price. Well, the ladies decide to hold out so much that nobody uh, affords them. So then the owner says, you know what, $10 is enough. So, but anyway, 
So uh, Tom Jones shows up in Arizona. He's there to come rescue her, and he does. Takes her away. Kirby's really pissed off about it, so he challenges Tom to a duel. So they have this shootout in the street. Uh, Kirby shoots first and gets Tom in the shoulder but doesn't kill him. And then as a distraction, Lady Godiva then uh, comes in on her horse, uh, riding naked on this horse, which distracts the uh, Kirby, and then Tom shoots him. Now, I guess it wouldn't have even been a distraction because it was Tom's <laughs> turn to shoot anyway. But anyway, he shoots Kirby, kills him. Uh, Godiva and Tom kiss, and they're going to live happily ever after. Boom, end of story. So anyway, that is Lady Godiva Rides. It's on this uh, Ed Wood, lascivious world of... I might have this on another one. I have, I have a, a box set from Ed Wood called The Big Box of Wood. It might be on that one too. I'm not sure. But I think I have this on a couple different ones. Um, the audio is not that great. It's just uh, just kind of a bad audio. It, it is what it is. Uh, this thing hasn't been cleaned up, I don't think, for, for DVD. Who knows if the film elements even exist anymore. But anyway, um, there's a lot of nudity in this movie. Mostly a lot of boobs and a lot of bare butts. Um, lots of boobs, and they're large-breasted women, too, in this movie. Really big, bosomy, uh, real, not fake boobs, um, which were all great. Uh, there was a lesbian scene. I read a review of this movie on IMDb. Uh, one of the critics said something about there's not a pubic hair to be found, but that's not true. There is some pubic hair in this movie. Uh, very brief full frontal nudity from uh, actually like a couple different women, actually. I think there may be three of them, but there is some in there, so if you want that, you, you'll find it here, too. But anyway, that is... Lady Godiva rides. You know, interesting about pubic hair, um, there's a lot of topless scenes and some stripper scenes, and the women get down to their underwear, their panties, they don't take those off, but in almost all the cases, the panties are see-through, so you can see it anyway, so whatever. Anyway, that's enough discussions about pubic hair. Uh, you can get this movie in the lascivious world of Ed Wood. It's it's a ridiculous film, horrible acting, horrible props that boat, Jesus Christ. But anyway, it's... It is what it is. It's a little long, but it's whatever. You can watch this one. It's an easy watch. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. It's Lady Godiva Rides. Watch it. Bye.